Barbecue chicken and bagpipes have helped transform a once troubled boys school in Sydney's west. Students at Granville Boys High rebuilding their reputation and forging a new special place in the community on display today. Across the quadrangle at Granville Boys High, the pipes, the pipes are calling. The school's pipe band, preparing for Anzac Day. For most of the boys, it'll be the first time that they've seen an Anzac service up close. It's a school where close to 99% of families come from non-English speaking backgrounds. Some of the boys in the band have come from places where our soldiers have been fighting just in the early thousands. And it's a school where teenage tumult and police tape were once a regular feature. We've had some difficult times at Granville Boys, but, um, you know, it's always been a very strong community school. That ranges from a robotics team preparing for international competition... They're the only Australian team of about 80 teams from all around the world. ..to the principal's surefire way of fixing schoolyard fights. El Jana chicken and chips for those who break them up. I can't remember the last time we've had a fair dink and punch on. The freshly formed pipe band, another link to community. They need to understand the significant days that occur in Australia and Anzac Day is the most significant day for all Australians. I'm going to be really nervous when I attend because I've never, never went like and done something in front of a lot of people. We'll be here five o'clock, we'll get dressed and we go. And you'll be wearing the tartan? Yep, the kilt. And as dawn broke this morning through the railway staunchions opposite Granville's Memorial Park, the Granville Boys High Pipe Band paid their homage to the fallen. If we want the younger generation to take over from us, the old generation, we've got to give them the encouragement while they're young. All cultures, not just one culture, which I think is great. Mike Dalton, Nine News.